and install a new turbo cell for this Hayward salt system. This particular cell here, it's got an error that says hot, and that means that the temp sensor inside the cell itself has failed, showing 235 degrees. So it's definitely something that can't be fixed, so it's a defect in the cell itself. This is a really simple thing to do. You just open up the box and get the new one out. And you definitely want to compare it to make sure you got the right cell. So this is a T15 cell right here, and this is also a T15 cell. So this one's gonna fit in, and it goes, you can put it in the same direction. I'm not sure if it matters, because the flow sensor is outside of the unit, but I always like to put them the same way I find them when they're installed. So I'm going to turn the unit off. I'm going to unplug the old one. Just unplugs like that. And these unions that are holding it should be hand tight. One on each side. I'm going to get the other one. And they should both twist off fairly easily. I'll just take this cell out. Carefully. And there's two O-rings inside these unions. Make sure they're still in there when you uh, re reinsert the new cell. I want to tighten these up by hand. And hand tight is sufficient. It comes with 15 feet of cord, but you don't need that much here. I'm going to go ahead and plug the new one in. Okay, I'll turn it on. We'll see what happens here. You need to recalibrate the cell, and you can wait two hours, it'll activate reset itself, but if you need to recalibrate it, you just put it to off, and you put it to auto, and you hit diagnostic five times. And the number should cycle through like that. You can see it cycling. And once it gets to a level where it stops moving, you can go ahead and hit, you can put a superchlorinate, and then back to auto. And that will recalibrate the system right there. It's got 4,000 parts per million, a little bit salty, but it wasn't working, so I think there's a little bit too much salt in there. This is your voltage. It usually operates when it's producing at that voltage right there. And that's in the range of the amps if it's producing salt at that point. If it's not producing salt, it'll be zero. So this is a good way to indicate your cells going bad too with the voltage and the amperage. It comes with an instruction sheet also if you want to reprogram your Goldline AquaPro system. You may need to do that if you install a new cell. 